what's up guys welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel you know me i'm kevin we like to talk about luxury high end low end everywhere in between if you're new here welcome if you're not new here welcome today's gonna be a fun video and yes you read that accurately um first and foremost let's get into my scent of the day today's scent of the day is drum roll please since it is summer today's scent of the day is ck1 summer now i have to okay so this was a blind buy of since i've been doing a lot of those lately um i wore ck1 ckb all all of that goodness like whenever i was in high school and stuff and have always loved them i'm gonna tell you guys what this ck1 summer literally literally smells like pledge and sprite now i know you're thinking well that's oddly specific this is oddly specific of a scent um now it smells clean and it smells fresh but it do smell like pledge straight up lemon pledge that you clean your tables with or you know what have you but um there are worse things to smell like so um I may, I may not recommend this for everybody and i would definitely not wear it any other time of the year but summer but um yeah that's my sense today the there are like i said there are worse things to smell like so um yeah let's get into today's video one one thing that a lot of you don't know about me is i am a huge fan of true crime paranormal paranormal um things of the occult you know murder like all that it just i've always been super fascinated with it and probably because i grew up in a time and an era of jeffrey dahmer and oj simpson and waco texas and like all these really horrific things that happened like kind of all at once like the 90s were wild if any of you we're not there. I'm sorry that you're just like reading about it and stuff like growing up now, like living it and actually like being there was wild. The nineties were just wild. But, um, anyway, I have been watching this show on Netflix and it's called the unexplained. William Shatner is the host. First of all, William Shatner. I'm, I'm there. Say no more. Especially if it has to do with like paranormal or like true crime or anything like that i am totally in sucked in from the beginning anyway um last night there was an episode on cults i have always been drawn to cults not enough to join one but um i just every every cult although they're about the same they're very, very different. And I've just always been so intrigued why somebody would join a cult. Why would somebody be like sucked into one? And then I got to thinking, these things that we love here, that we talk about on this specific, you know, place of YouTube, loving luxury and high fashion and things like that. It got me thinking, is luxury a cult? Bam, bam, bam. Um, and I just think it would be like super fun to talk about how it kind of like luxury and like coming to YouTube to watch, uh, you know, people's videos about luxury and about handbags and stuff. They are like eerily, like kind of the same. If you like really, really think about it. Um, I know something that really has always got me into like, you know the luxury aspect of things is you know familiar structure obviously we have influence on youtube we have stability stability and as far as like being in a group with other people that understand things that we're interested in um there's a sense of belonging and then of course you have like peer pressure and stuff and everybody sometimes is peer pressured or pressured into buying something through influence like a bag or something that they maybe wouldn't have bought in. So, um, and then there's, you know, just mindfulness, mindfulness that there are people out there 
that love the same things that you do and we're all together in this big collective and um the the designers themselves you know Hermes Louis Vuitton whoever they're like the cult leaders that like we buy into their product now I know that this is not as like serious as like joining an actual cult and it may be a little bit of a stretch to like be put in that mindset but um i just thought that i would like start the conversation like i said this is not to be taken super super seriously it's just something that i was thinking about i um definitely think that there are a lot of like-minded people out there in this luxury community that might have the same thoughts. I would love to hear what you guys think though. Um, leave what you think or your opinions, yada, yada, yada. Leave it down in the comments as always. And of course, if you have a channel, please, I would love to hear your side of it. And um, yeah, let's let's dive deeper. Is 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 culture, the culture of luxury, the culture of luxury bags, and having a YouTube channel completely, you know, for and to appropriate pretty much luxury, is that cult behavior? You guys let me know what you think. I'm gonna get off here for now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all my new subscribers that have been saying hi and leaving me lots of love. Thank you guys. I'm talking a lot with my hands today and I don't know what that's about. But I love you guys very, very much. Please have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Love yourselves. Keep hate watching. And by all means, please say something nice to a stranger. You'll feel better. They'll feel better. I'll see you guys soon. I love you so, so much. Peace.